Good day, everyone. Been another long week in the BBL and the Wales League. So, uh, I have been posting daily stats. So, if you if you still don't know the format for this season, um, you now I'll just quickly go over it again. So. From Monday to Friday, I'm going to post daily stats. And then we're going to skip Saturday. Saturday is going to be like a day off, no stats, nothing. And then on Sundays, we'll, we'll kind of recap the week and uh, sim one day worth of games with the play-by-play. -play. And today is Sunday. So only one stream every week and on Sundays. Um, yeah, I'll try to yeah keep this time slot for the streams. We'll be turning the clocks in a couple of weeks, so I'll try to keep that in mind as well. Yeah, so uh, starting with Division Five, then moving up to four, three, two one so first off this is division five we are looking at the standings i think positive for angier doing pretty well six games played why why one one loss so no teams undefeated everyone has at least one loss uh fleckle flow joes they have played one last game 10 pink posse four wins and one loss for them and then we got the red dogs with three wins and one loss so they have played Two games less than Pink Posse, one game less than Flacco Flow Joes. At the bottom here, well, Grand Prize winner, they got their first win early on. Boogie still looking for a win. Grand Prize winner, though, losing uh, by an average of 25.5 each game. Uh, Boogie losing by an average of 19.8. Maybe they have had. Um, just rough start for the season uh, in Division 5 everyone will play in the regular season once against each other and then we'll we'll have playoffs everyone will make the playoffs we will have all 16 teams in the playoffs uh, for Division 5 uh, for the other divisions um, we got eight teams making it into the playoffs out of the 12 yeah, quick look at the league leaders. Major shooting guard leading with the points, 26.3 per game. Uh, Luka Dunkic with 12.8 rebounds per game. Actually tying it with Flow P, who also has 12.8 rebounds per game. Uh, what's the name of this baller? baller? Uh, Slamming Surgeon with the assist, 12.4 assists per game. Ward races. Well, actually, like most of the stats um, you can check out on pbl.center. I have been updating it them every day after I post the, the box scores for the games. Uh, statistical feats. Any statistical feats in the season so far? A couple of triple doubles. Slam and Sammy has two of them, then one for. Mr. Clean and front for Prince Carter. Award races OG and Jar currently in the lead for the MVP race. Depoy, low T, going for the defensive player of the year. And six man, man of the year. It's OG and Jar. Also, just coming off the bench. Leading in the MVP race, interesting. Yeah, let's um, go straight into the games here. So for today's results, um, I'm not gonna post them in in the stats channel. Um, I'm only going to to update them the stats on BBL.center. Because we are doing play-by-play. -play. 
for each of those games on the stream here. We are starting off with LNC OG going against Black Ops Flow Joes. Flow Joes at home, and they are favored by 0.5. Let's speed this up just a little bit. Something like this, maybe. Yeah, we're gonna go quite fast through all the games here. I'm trying to, to keep these uh, Sunday streams like around 45 minutes or so. So it's also easier to check back on the replay on the YouTube, which will be posted right after we finish this one up. 98118 LNC OG takes the L. Flacco Flow Joe's got the win. They're fifth of the season, so they should be now tied with Anjurb. Anjurb's um, uh, pink falsy there. Best game score. And this one going to the losing side, it's Dave from LNC OG, 27 points, 9 rebounds, 7 assists, and 3 steals for, for Dave here. A moving on, Grand Prize winner going against the Unholy Katanas. Katanas favored by 23 points, and they're also playing at home. actually going okay it's working um katana's 119 grand prize winner 85 so katana's get their fourth win of the season best game score in the game going to chitty on the unholy katana's the starting point guard with 11 points, 8 rebounds, 9 assists, 2 steals, 5 of 6 shooting from the floor. Next up, Nick Stapes. I need about NFT Fiddy going against my Psychonauts. We are at home. We are favored by 12.5. Hoping for an easy W here. W, but we did get the win 106 to 99 the Psychonauts get a win over I need about NFT Fiddy and best game score does go to the losing side again NFTB 12 28 points 5 rebounds 1 steal 11 of 17 shooting only played 27.8 minutes uh, got in foul trouble early 5 fouls for him so that probably limited the minutes here. Jersey boys beat Brooksy Brand Ballers 2. Beat Brooksy Brand Ballers, they are at home. They are favored by 2 here. Uh, if you have any feedback on what, what should I do better or differently um, with this format, feel free to let me know. We'll start pinging, pinging everyone when I I post into the chess channel, uh, stats channel, so you would actually know when when the new stats are up. I don't have to to check the Discord every time for it. Uh, Jersey boys get the win, one ten to ninety eight over Brief Pussy Brand Bowlers. Best game score goes to Jersey City Joe. For the Jersey Boys, 28 points, 4 rebounds, 7 assists. Did have 5 turnovers, but was shooting pretty well. Especially from beyond the arc, 4 of 6 from that range. Next up, Big Red Dogs going against the leader. The league leader, Pink Fossey. Pink Fossey at home, favored by 12.5. And also, I'm, I'm going to start to like try to start posting the, the stats earlier in the day. 
so for you guys it, it would be kind of like in the morning something like I, I don't know 9 10 p.m. Eastern uh, a.m. Eastern Pink Posse 112 Big Red Dog 77 so Pink Posse gets through six win of the season best game score going to OG and Jarb again I feel like OG and Jarb should be starting but but also it it looks like it's working for Pink Posse when she's coming off the bench 25 points 10 assists two rebounds and two steals for for OG and Jarb Next up, Flow Post going against Car Reps. Car Reps at home, but Flow Post favored by 5.5. Hmm. Close one, Kyle Rips uh, was leading. Now Flow Post takes the lead by 1.5 minutes remaining in the game. Hey, let's go with, with the play by play. This is actually close here. Slamming Sammy hits a free throw. Has a second one as well. 117 to 114. Kyle Rips on top. Minute 35 of game time left. Slamming Sammy elevates for a shot at the rim, no good. Still a three point lead. Gets them. Oh, flow post. Gets the possession. Blueman puts up a triple for the tie. It's no good. But they fell with the defensive rebound, so we've got rips with the possession now. Johnny Drama, mid ranger, shot rims out, out of bounds. Last touch by the defense, so. Car rips. Has the position still slamming Sammy elevates first shot at the rim 18.4 seconds remaining no good no one's hitting anything in in the last two minutes here blue man with the defensive rebound so flow post has the ball and they will have a chance at a tie here but they turn the ball over late gate with the clutch steal from Wayne Rooney here and a quick foul from Flow Post, slamming Sammy to the free throw line. Misses the first one, makes the second one. Four point game. This should be game. Yeah. Even if Jason Tatum makes the, makes a triple, it doesn't matter. Car rips. Beats the odds, wins the game. 118 to 114. They are now 4 to 3 in the game, in the, in the season, on the season. Uh, late eight. With the best game score 19 points two rebounds five assists four steals no turnovers eight of 11 shooting from the floor next up shoon maker shoon squad going against boogie boogie looking for their first win of the season uh shoon squad the high rate rated team but boogie at home so they get the home court boost here uh, even spread. Let's see how this one turns out. Boogie with the lead. Heading into the third quarter here. They were up by three points. Five point lead at the end of the third for Boogie. And Boogie gets the win, their first of the season, 102 to 96 against the, against the Shun squad. Um, best game score going to Big O on Boogie's team. 24 points, six rebounds, eight assists, one steal, one block, nine off 17 shooting from the floor. And our last game, of Division 5, uh, Van Milder, Milder's Hardwood Hacks going against Minja, Minja at home, favored by 11.
big lead for Minja and they do get the win 96 to 76 so a 20 point win Minja gets his fifth win of the season and best three score going to Minja center here 17 points 15 rebounds 8 assists 5 steals 1 block 6 of 12 shooting Minja's power forward grabbing 20 rebounds Quick look at the standings. So we have Pink Posse still on top, followed by Flacco Flow Joes, who have played one last game. Both teams have one loss. Green Jam moving up to third here. Rampart is winner and Boogie, the only two teams with just one win on the season. And we are moving on to Division 4. So, what has been happening in Division 4? No teams undefeated. No teams um, without a win. We have Brief Proxy Brand Ballers, uh, Dolos Dudes. Both teams, four wins, one loss. Currently at on top of the league. Followed by Thrift Defenders, Matthew, Flow Sanity, who all have four wins and two losses. At the bottom here, we find which the windmills, Flow Sneakers, and Benz. They all have only one win on the season looking for their second one today let's check out the league leaders for points rebounds and assists at least if you want to see more extensive uh, stats go to bbl.center once again nines for benz leading with the points 30.8 points per game Spot Web 3 with the rebounds 12.8 for him and orc dub time machine from brief proxy brand ballers Dishing out 12 assists per game. Let's look at the statistical feats. No statistical feats, so that means uh, no triple doubles at least have been uh, posted. If you want to see what qualifies as a statistical feats, it's, it's here. 5x5 five five games, 50 point games, 25 rebound games, 20 assists, 20 steals, 10 blocks, and 10 trees, and also yeah, triple doubles like I mentioned before. World races, Dion Klaskock currently leading the MVP race for Boss City uh, Defensive Player of the Year, Queen Latifa. Actually, Turf has way too many players in this top 10 of of defensive players five of them to be exact and four others from 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 the rest of the five are from matthew i wonder if hmm, i wonder why is it interesting but yeah queen laquitha leading the race currently uh six man of the year also a turf player d rose currently on top Tattooed, not too far behind. Looking at the PER, Tattooed has has PER much better than T Rose, so not sure sure why T Rose is on top. Let's head into the games. Only four games today for Division Four. We got Benz going against Curbside Crushers. The Rushers are at home. They are favored by five. Let's see how this one goes. Benz with the lead and they get the win 103 to 94 so Benz with the, their second win of the season uh, best game score does go to the losing side though Eli Booker 28.6 rebounds 3 assists and 2 steals 1 clock didn't shoot that well though 11 of 23 next up Atlanta going against Wichita Windmills. Windmills are at home, but it's an even spread. So Windmills also looking for their second win of the season. Atlanta looking for third. I think Atlanta was second in, in the power rankings. 
start of the season. They haven't started out that well though. Two wins and four losses so far. Considering they were the, the second highest rated team. Nice close game. When Lowe's on top, let's get under that minute mark. Windmills just keep on piling those points and they're up by nine with 54 seconds to go. I think we can just skip to the end here. Yeah, Atlanta, unfortunately for him, taking another L. Uh, Windmills with the win. Their second of the season, 107 to 96 is the final score. Best game score going to the welder on which at the Windmills. 20 points, 10 rebounds. Nice double double, 7 of 12 shooting from the floor. Two more games for Division 4, everybody. Buddies going against Flow Sneakers. Flow Sneakers at home, favored by 6.5. And Flow Sneakers, the only, only team still looking for, for their second win of the season, I think. Close one. And close sneakers take over in the fourth, I think. I, I absolutely jinxed it. It's a tie game with 40 seconds to go. Fresh sprint for everybody's. Attempts a mid ranger here. And it's good. Everybody but it's take the lead. What a turnover. Um, yeah. Another steal for everybody's. They're taking over. And this one, Rebecca Slobo elevates for a shot at the rim, throws it down on Bet D. 106 to 102, four point game, 20 seconds remaining. Anyhow, Spence does make a shot, so we are playing the foul game. Lisa Turtle to the free throw line for everybody. It makes the first one, makes the second one. We are back to a four point game. Can the Sparker can hit a triple, and this is game. 108 to 104, everybody get the win. Best game score going to. To the losing side, actually. Bet D only played 15.2 minutes, but scored 17 points, had six rebounds, one assist, one steal, one block, seven of eight shooting from the floor. Pretty nice stats for, for only 15 minutes of game time. Last game on today's um, Division 4 portion. Uh, Bud City going against Big Brooksy Brand Ballers. Big Brooksy Brand Ballers at home, favored by seven. Let's see what the, the MVP um, race leader, Dion Klaskock, can do for Bus City. Big Brooksy Brand Ballers ahead at the start of the fourth quarter. But it's a close one. Now, Bus City taking the lead. They start off the fourth quarter pretty well. 17 to 2 1. And Bus City gets to win that fourth quarter push. They win the fourth quarter 32 to 11. And the game 101 to 82. So a nice 19 point win. Both teams now with four wins on the season. And best game score does go to our MVP race leader here in Division 4, Dion Klaskock. 32 points, 9 rebounds, 4 assists, and 3 blocks for Dion. 4 of 6 from Beyond Dark as well. 14 of 25 from the floor. Didn't shoot any free throws though. Interesting. Okay, so let's look at the standings now before we move on to Division 3. We got Dolos dudes for wins, one loss. We have Flow Sneakers at the bottom, one win and five losses for them. Really close though. So a lot of teams have four wins actually. Some of them just have played more games. Six teams with four wins. It will be fun to find out how Division 4 shakes up this season. We are moving on to Division 3. 
Let's see. Uh, standings first. Basket Towns, they are undefeated. Five wins, no losses so far. So Basket Towns looking to make their way into Division 2 for next season. Um, yeah, in case you didn't know, if you win your, your uh, if you win the regular season portion or if you are the top seed, you will for sure move up a division for next season. Yeah, uh, second place is pretty much a tie. Emperor D, Lopez 4, and Rebel Rejects all have four wins and one loss. And way in at the bottom here, uh, Dax not still looking for their first win. They have three losses. Losing by an average of uh, 4.0. And then my commission's choice. No wins and five losses. We really got to start make something happen. I'll, I'll quickly want to take a look. Like, yeah, I, I'm pretty much only just playing like seven players. And I, I guess that's that's hurting my chances. Should have like a, a little bit of a, a deeper bench. Maybe just, just one point punt instead of two. And league leaders. We got Piana Viewer from the Nuts with the points here. 26.3 points per game. Uh, Kareem Pollard uh, for Basket Towns with the most rebounds per game. 13.0. And Pink from Mr. Nobody's. Let's get right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Pink from Mr. Nobody's with the assist. 10.6 assists per game look at the award races we got Timothy from Lopez Lopez for going for the MVP the defensive player of the year I'm um, currently in the lead Billy D Plock from from effigy smoke show and for six man of the year we got rebel Rejex um Lady Liberty from from rebel, rebel Rejex yeah, let's get into the games. Five games today for Division 3. Commission's Choice going against Nobody's. Nobody's at home. They are favored by four. I hope we get our first win here. Because right now it's looking like uh, Commission's Choice might be playing in Division 4 for the next season. Uh, making me want to, to buy a baller to stay competitive. But it might not be the right time to do so. Hey! Oh, this, this one went far more faster than I anticipated. Uh, Commission Choice gets to win 100 to 98. Mr. D with the triple. Winning triple with 2.7 seconds remaining on the clock. Hey, nice win for us. Uh, best game score going to Dr. Duncanstein on Commissioner's Choice. 25 points, 19 rebounds, 2 assists, 3 steals, 5 blocks. That is the, the baller that Lopez gifted me like last season. Uh, both teams here, one, one, 1 win and 5 losses now on the season. Next up, Smoke Show going against Dax Nuts. Dax Nuts at home, favored by 1. Rooting for Tiger to... Get their first win as well here. Most show with the lead though. Four quarter underway. And Smoke show gets the win 118 to 104. Best game score going to the losing side though. Brenna Weirert was leading the MVP race, I think. 26 points, 10 rebounds, 10, 7 assists, 3 blocks. Can't carry her team alone though. She needs some, some help. So Dax Nuts, no wins and 4 losses now on the season. Rebel Rejects, Win City Chambers, Chambers at home, favorite by 2. Oh yeah, I, 
by the way um another thing i would take some feedback on is like is the sunday slot for for the streams good for you guys or or would you would you like like the stream to be like i don't know monday or wednesday because these are the two other days i could go to uh rebel rejects get the win they are now five and one on the season 110 to 103 over win city chambers this game score going to ginger ale on the win city chambers so losing team has the best player with the best game score 24 points three rebounds 10 assists one steal seven of 13 shooting six of six from the free throw line now lopez four going against the basket towns basket towns at home tie spread this will be a good one lopez the highest rated team uh, basket towns with the most wins so far yeah for, for the streaming time um i would just like to like have i don't know um that as many people as possible could like join the stream and actually uh you know watch it live because uh, otherwise i could just like pre-record it uh no one's watching it live uh lopez for 116 basket house 96 so a big blowout win for lopez for both teams now five wins and one loss on the season we have basket, basket house they take their first loss best game score going to him 34 points nine rebounds nine assists and one block so really close to a triple double 10 of 13 shooting from the floor nine of nine from the free throw line last game here for division three we got disco going against effigies cloak golden arts um golden arts at home but this will favored by 2.5 oh yeah i think we didn't see if there was any statistical feats here in division three so we'll check that one out uh, right after this game and we'll look at the standings and move on to division two this go with the lead taking over in the fourth as well just extending it 131 to 118 disco with their second win of the season and this one coming against the golden arcs this game score going to perimeter pete on disco's team 32 points five rebounds three assists two steals 11 of 17 shooting uh so yeah uh, let's check out this statistical feats no statistical feats so no, no triple doubles no insane Point rebound that's still blocked or, or three point games um yeah division three standings after today with lopez four basket towns and rebel rejects all five wins and one loss uh emperor d four wins and one loss for them they didn't play today but they are on top still and yeah dax nuts way at the bottom here the only team here looking for their first win no wins and four losses for taggart and we are moving on to division two quick look at the standings lopez two on top division two is really close like already two losses for the top teams at at least two wins for the bottom teams so yeah, Lopez 2 on top, followed by Big Tickets, Emperor C, D Crux, Players of the Metaverse, and Mad. That is Mad Woman's team. On the bottom, bottom here, four teams with just two wins. Mango, Bookie JVB, Gold Jays, and everybody. Let's check out the statistical feats. No statistical feats in Division 2 as well. At least not so far. MVP race, Madwoman currently leading that one. Defensive player of the year. That is going to go Red's way so far. And then we got Alien Iverson 
going for the sixth man of the year. Next update on the board races next Sunday or, or on the next stream. Let's get into the games. Five games on the day. Lopez 2, Pirates of the Metaverse. Our first game, Pirates of the Metaverse. They are at home, favored by two. Pirates of the Metaverse destroying um, Lopez 2 here. 118 to 95. Both teams 5 and 3 on the season now. Best game score going to Chocolate Eye Patch on Pirates of the Metaverse. 24 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 steal, 8 of 10 shooting, 5 of 7 from Beyond the Arc. Next up, Mango going against Soul Assassins. The Assassins are at home. They are favored by 3.5. So Assassins, they have the lead and they get the win. 108 to 91. They are four and four on the season. After this dub here, best game score going to narrowly go to Daisy Times on on the Soul Assassins. 18 points, three rebounds, 12 assists, and a single turnover for Daisy there. Next up, Buki JVB going against D Crocs. D Crocs at home, favored by three. Okay, JVB um, finished last in, in Division 1 last season, but I'm sure they are looking to get back into Division 1. Let's see how it goes for them this season. Bookie JVB gets their third win of the season. There are now three wins and four losses with the record. And they went here 100 to 91 over the Crocs. This game score going to Pink Blonde. 10 points, 4 rebounds, 9 assists, and 5 steals. Only three shots taken and made, made all three of those, those shots here. Pretty nice efficiency. Moving on, everybody going against big tickets, big tickets also dropping down from Division 1 last season. Um, they are at home, they are favored by 13 in this one. Currently 4 wins and 2, one, two losses on the season. Big lead for the big tickets. Yeah, they get a 29 point win, 130 to 101, and that is their fifth win of the season. Five wins, two losses, so they should be tied now with the record uh, as their top team. The scheme score going to that, to that all star on big tickets. The big ticket himself 19.7 rebounds, six assists, five steals for big ticket. Last game for Division 2, we got the other, other holders going against Emperor C, Emperor C at home paired by 11.5.
Emperor C with the dub 118 to 106. Will the sneak with the best game score for Emperor C 18 points, 13 rebounds, 9 assists, 2 steals, 1 block force. So really close to the first tip triple double uh, for Division 2. 7 of 10 shooting from the floor as well. So let's check out the standings after after today's games. And Peak Tickets currently on top, 5 wins, 2 losses. Uh, followed by Lopez, Chu, Paris of the Metaverse, and Emperor C, who all have 5 wins and 3 losses. At the bottom, 3 teams looking for their third win of the season Coach A's Mango and Ear Buddy. And let's move on to the main event. We got Division 1 coming up. Our last division on today's stream. Let's check out the standings. How are we doing? Lopez 3. Six wins, no losses, starting out strong. Winning pair average of 15.8. That is that is a really strong number in Division 1. We got so many stacked teams here. And to be just crushing them all is, is pretty good. Uh Tickpeas currently in second for five wins and one loss for them. They are winning pair numbers of 7.7. .7. Third place, Lopez 1. Oh, so Lopez 3 is much better than Lopez 1, apparently. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, Lopez 1, 4 wins, 2 losses. At the bottom here, I know both both Emperor B and M the Emperor started out with 4 straight losses. Looks like they both have 1, 2. So they are 2 and 4 here. Um, Atlas Pay and G League Rebels also for two wins and four losses for them and then way at the bottom here currently Trace Snipers not doing that well one win and five losses they are losing by an average of 16.2 and have dropped five straight after winning their first one of the season let's look at the league leaders for points and rebounds and assists we got Larry Legend for Holy Katanas tied with Silver Fox from All Stars, both scoring 26.2 points per game. Silver Fox also with the rebounds, 14 rebounds per game for him. And then with the assists, it's 9021 H Ho from Ballers of the Metaverse with 8.2 assists per game. See, statistical feats. Hey, Silver Fox does have a triple double on the season. 31 points, 11 rebounds, and 10 assists against uh, against Elite Rebels. In a loss. Over the races, Silver Fox currently on top in the MVP race. Uh, Defensive Player of the Year. We got Elsa Forstein uh, on top, and for Sixth Man of the Year. Far Thunder from Emperor B on top in this one. So let's move into the games. All 12 teams playing. Well, it's playing himself. So one of the Emperor teams will have three wins at the end of the stream. But let's start with the first one. Uh, we have Lopez 3 going against Atlas Pay. Atlas Pay at home here by 8.5. Might be the. Might this be the first game that Lopez 3 is going to lose or will they extend their, their streak to 7 here? Nice close game 2 point lead for Atlas Pay and we are tied with 6 minutes remaining. Okay, let's go with the play-by-play. -play. Atlas play up by three points, 106 to 103. Minute 38 in the game. The remaining Phoenix slams at home, so that makes it a one-point game. MJ Pega misses the shot. A bulky goes for a triple. No good for Lopez stream. MJ Pega puts up a triple. That one is a good, and that might be the dagger here. Four point game, 40 seconds to go. Feeney can't hit a triple for Lopez, so still a four point game. And now MP has 
the ball. Pixel Pay puts up a mid ranger and hits that dagger. For Atlas Pay, they are up by six with 16 seconds remaining. Mm. Yeah, no chance for for Lopez three here. 113 to 105 is the final score. Lopez three takes her first L of the season. Best game score going to MJ Pega for at, from Atlas Pay. 15 points, four rebounds, nine assists and two blocks for MJ Pega. Next up, Emperor B going against the Emperor. The Emperor at home here by 6.5. Will against Will. Is the B team better this season than the A team? Or can the, can the, the Emperor stand on standard ground at home yeah uh, looks like they can you're up by 10 with with a minute remaining and they get the, a 13 point win 112 to 99 the emperor with the third win of the season best game score goes to the losing side though el diablo 31 five points 10 rebounds one assist, one block, and three steals. Eight of twelve, so eight triples here for for El Diablo. Tried his hardest, but couldn't get the dub. What is this music? Um, sorry. <laughs> okay, kind of better. Um, Holy Katana's against Lopez 1 for next game up. Lopez 1 at home, favored by 10. Holy Katanas, last season spent in Division 2. Last season before that, they, they were in Division 1, so they dropped and then crushed it in Division 2. Now back in Division 1. Trying to hold on to the place this time. Uh, Lopez 1 crushing the Katanas though. 24 point win. 116 to 92. Lopez 1 with their 5th win of the season. Best game score going to the Hound on Lopez 1. 30 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals, 3 blocks, no turnovers. 5 of 9 from Beyond Dark. Moving on to All-Stars. Playing against straight snipers, straight snipers at home, but all stars favored by Ulsters with a pretty nice safe lead heading into the fourth quarter. They get a eight point win here. 115 to 107. Their fourth win of the season. Best game score going to one of the Ulsters. Silver Fox in this one. 25 points, eight rebounds, five assists, two steals. Hey, Effigy. And yeah, as you can see, they got their, their luck here. Both of them performed pretty well. Um, Cock Diesel had actually the better stat line, but uh, uh, missed a couple of more shots than Silver Fox. Two more games on today's stream. First of them, the kid going against G League Rebels. Rebels are at home, but the kid favored by 4.5. The kid with the lead. Yeah, see, it looks like it's a safe lead. They're up by 20. 
and they get a 24 point win 120 to 96 the kid with their fourth win of the season this game score going to carla berkeley off the bench for for the kid played only 23 minutes but had 24 points four rebounds one assist and was shooting 10 of 15 from the floor last game on today's stream followers of the metaverse going against eli rebels eli rebels at home favored by five followers of the metaverse currently tied for the first place with the with a record of five wins and one loss no actually uh lopez 3 has six wins and one loss so if they win they would be tied Rebels with the 8-point lead though, 4 minutes remaining. And yeah, Rebels will get the win in this one. 124 to 113, so followers of the Metaverse, they are 5 and 2 on the season. They like Rebels 4 and 3. This game score going to Mary Chain for Eli on Eli Rebels. 29 points, 6 rebounds, 1 assist, 2 steals, 6 of 10 from Beyond Dark. So let's check out the standings after today's games. Um, okay, we have Lopez 3 on top. Six wins, one loss. Uh, Lopez 1 and Polar's of the Metaverse uh, tied for second. Five wins and two losses for both of those teams. And then we at the bottom here. Great Sniper is still looking for that second win. They have dropped six straight now. Yep, these were today's games. I'm going to update the stats on bbl.center. I'm not going to post box scores from today's games. Uh, I am going to, to post the daily schedule for for the games, uh, getting, uh, for the box scores that we'll get uh, at least tomorrow. This is the schedule for Division 1. Ooh. We've got some good games tomorrow. Lopez 1 going against Emperor B and the Emperor going against Lopez Stream. It will be a fun battle between Lopez and Will. All Stars going against Atlas Pay. Race Snipers. Favored by one point over the kid. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. If you're watching the replay. Um yeah, well, what else? Yeah, that will continue tomorrow. Uh, next stream will be on, on next Sunday. I'm, I'm keeping the slot for now. Uh, yeah, that's about it for today. Thanks for watching. If you need anything, feel free to to ping me in, in the Ballers Discord. Bye!